You either love him or you hate him. But if Jake Paul defeats Tommy Fury in Saudi Arabia on February 26th, he'll emerge from the bout a WBC ranked boxer and inch one step closer to his audacious goal of becoming a world champion. The influencer, who shot to fame in the early days of TikTok's precursor Vine and once appeared on the Disney Channel, has been climbing the boxing ranks since a 2018 amateur bout against Deji. Paul has a 6-0 record as a professional boxer, but hasn't yet matched up against anyone from a boxing background, fighting a fellow YouTuber, an ex-NBA player, and mixed martial arts veterans. He's tried twice before to take on Fury, who is the brother of heavyweight champion Tyson Fury, with both of those matches falling through. But now, it's on. And, according to Fury, if he loses to Paul, it's time to call it a career. How did a polarizing YouTube star famous for prank videos earn a shot at becoming a ranked boxer? Sit back, relax, and take this in. Depending on how long ago Jake Paul entered your consciousness, you either know him from his goofy high school videos, The Sneeze, his ridiculous pranks with older brother Logan, the Disney Channel series Bizarre Bark, stick your face in front of this giant fan, fan me up, bro, an infamous FBI raid on his home. Sky 5 was overhead this morning as federal agents entered Jake Paul's Calabasas home located in this gated community off of Mulholland Highway. Or as a boxer, which is his newest obsession. His fight career initially looked like a side gig or a side show, but from the beginning, Paul earnestly contended his ambitions were for real. According to Paul, he's always been athletic, in high school, he was on the wrestling, football, and basketball teams before moving to Los Angeles to pursue his career as a content creator. Since he didn't finish his senior year of high school, he never made it to the state wrestling championships like his older brother, and that always bothered him. And even though his pranks and stunts brought him lots of notoriety and wealth, something was always missing for Paul. He said getting into boxing helped him become more in touch with himself. So after first stepping into the ring on the amateur side, Paul went professional. Like his approach to most things, he took a non-traditional path. Instead of working up the ranks by fighting other beginners, Paul took on YouTube contemporary Gib in a January 2020 bout he won with a first round knockout. Next, he faced Nate Robinson in a bout that went viral after Paul knocked out the retired NBAer. Then Paul took on a trio of MMA fighters, Ben Askren, Tyron Woodley, who he fought twice, and Anderson Silva. His haters say Paul's social media celebrity punched his ticket to the bigger matchups, but his supporters point to Paul's results in the ring to prove his success is legitimate. Askren was a former Bellator MMA and one welterweight champion, and Paul defeated him in a round one TKO. Woodley, a former UFC welterweight champion, lost his first fight to Paul in a split decision and took the second fight to the sixth round before Paul knocked him out, a result that was named KO of the Year by ESPN. Former UFC middleweight champion Silva, at the age of 47, lost to Paul in a unanimous decision after eight rounds. Paul was excited after that win. He called out current super middleweight boxing champion Canelo Alvarez and then was mocked across social media. Paul has become one of the world's best paid boxers. He earned over 45 million in 2021, more than Alvarez earned that year, and his 2022 earnings topped 38 million. That put Paul in 46th spot on Forbes' 2022 ranking of highest paid athletes, ahead of NFL stars Russell Wilson and TJ Watt. He's also invested in women's boxing, where he's gone on record saying boxers are mistreated. His promotional company was instrumental in the Katie Taylor-Amanda Serrano fight that drew a crowd of 19,000 at Madison Square Garden and streamed to a global audience of more than 1.5 million. That's a women's boxing record. Here's what Paul told the New York Times about his experiment as a boxing businessman. To me, it's not about the money, it's not about the attention, it's about the legacy, 
and leaving the sport in a better place than where I found it because I owe my life to boxing. We'll leave it up to you to decide if that's sincere or just promotional hype. And now the infamous prankster has a chance at true legitimacy with a WBC ranking up for grabs. Fury, the first full-fledged boxer Paulus faced, can also earn a spot in the rankings. The 23-year-old has an 8-0 record, winning four of those by knockout. The WBC has already made it clear they aren't here for your Jake Paul hate. In a statement released by their president, the organization said, Jake has dedication and respect to the sport, and the WBC will not tolerate discrimination against anyone. He deserves the opportunities that any other boxer has. Audiences will finally get a peek at how Paul stacks up against an actual boxer in a belt that could easily launch him into another level of stardom or provide the knockout many of his haters are tuning in for.